Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron Will Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi sport, and endurance events and training. So, things were looking good this week, and then all of a sudden it got a bit crazy. I'll, I'll show you. And once again at Sydney Airport, this time heading to Auckland for work. Uh, very last minute, but it is what it is. It gets me out of the office for a little bit, which is kind of nice. So, my training this week is going to be a little disrupted again but at least the hotel that I'm staying at has a pool and it has a gym just realized I forgot my goggles shit so I'm flying Latam Airways which is uh, Chilean actually just thinking about it these are the guys that lost my luggage back in 2013 I really hope they've upped their game since then, because I don't want my luggage lost. I'm sure they have, and I'm sure that was a once-off. tonight fixing the machine or it might take five minutes who knows so I worked until quite late last night uh, didn't get to sleep until about 4 a.m. local time and I would have loved to have slept in a little bit today especially since I've kind of got today a bit off but that noise that's okay that's okay so I'm gonna make use of my day off today Go and get something to eat, have a look around Auckland because I've never been here before. Um, and this street's quite interesting. Look how steep it is. This would be great for doing some cycling training on. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a bike with me. And I haven't been training that much on the bike, so I'm not going to even try this road, but it would be amazing. I could definitely do some run training up this hill, actually. That'd probably be good. Um, so I might do that tomorrow, tomorrow morning, way the morning on. One little interesting tidbit I found out about Auckland is that all the mountains around this area are all volcanoes. All of them. So they're all dormant, obviously. But they're all volcanoes, which is amazing. I'm going to try and go for a run to one of them over the next couple of days. So all seems to be going fairly well here in Auckland while I'm on my visit for work. Um, this morning I decided to go for a bit of a run, so I'm going to go up, run up. I'm going to go up, run up Mount Eden, which is, again, as I mentioned before, all mountains in Auckland are volcanoes, dormant volcanoes. But this one, yeah, it's the tallest uh, accessible volcano that you can run up in Auckland. I also found out that uh, tomorrow morning is the Auckland Marathon. I wish I could go to it. I've, unfortunately, I'm not trained up for a marathon right now. So while I could probably do it, I'd have to go like running really slow. It would be still quite amazing. Um, but I also, I have to do training tomorrow with the technician. So I can't really go. Plus I can't really afford it either. While it would be amazing, to do that as a coincidence that that's happening while I'm here I just won't be able to go but to everyone who's doing the Auckland Marathon tomorrow best of luck with everything enjoy it looks to be like an amazing day it's looking like it's not gonna rain tomorrow either which should be really nice yeah I haven't been running nearly as often as I should lately I know I say that all the time um, at the moment it's really true like I haven't been running 
I've barely been running since the marathon. I've done a couple of Ks here and there, uh, but really not much. Like so far this morning, uh, the start up for the run, my, everything's feeling a little tight. And considering my previous Achilles injuries, running up a mountain probably isn't the best idea. But I'm not gonna go fast, I'm gonna go slow. It's just a nice, slow, easy run today. Total of about six or seven kilometers. And that, that's my mountain, or my volcano that I'm gonna run up today. So, so far, just a lot of incline. So, the video is just me of love, puffing and puffing. Trying to get up here. Nearly there. Not too far. So yeah, that's the crater. That's where everything would come out of if this was an active volcano, but luckily it is dormant. So there's nothing gonna come out of there for a while. That's pretty impressive. I don't think I've ever actually been to a volcano before, dormant or active. So this is pretty awesome to see this. Look, this crater is huge. The GoPro doesn't really do it much justice. It makes it look smaller than it actually is, but it's ginormous. And of course you can't actually enter the crater itself it is a sacred site and easily damaged. So I'm definitely not gonna go in there, but I'm gonna run up to the top to that summit thing just there. I'll see you in a bit. Here we go, right up the top of Mount Eden. So this is apparently one of the tallest places in Auckland, so it is full of spectacular views. back around there. Going to run along sort of the mountain bike trail here, or walking trail, probably, probably both. And then I'm gonna head back, It'll be a nice little 7k run. And for anyone still wondering, yes, I am still wearing my Kung Fu slippers. And I'm gonna keep running in them. I'm gonna have to buy a few new pairs because these are starting to wear down. But I think I've formed a bit of an attachment to them. I really like running in them. Uh, maybe it's a bit of Stockholm Syndrome or something, but yeah. I really enjoy the Kung Fu slippers, running in supremely minimalist shoes. Running downhill is so much easier than going up the mountain. Woo, a bit too fast. It's really frustrating knowing that the Auckland Marathon is on tomorrow because even if I could get out of work and afford to enter the marathon, I haven't trained for a good few weeks. So I'd probably just do myself an injury. Probably go too fast again. And I do only have my Kung Fu slippers to run in. So if I were to go in the marathon, I'd be running in those again. And now just as a bit of fun. Whew. I'm running up that really, really steep. I think this is about 45 degrees. It's barely a walk, more of a shuffle. I'm trying to run. Oh, all right, that was a good run. I haven't been running outside for a little while, maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. So it was really nice to get out and just have a refreshing, nice run in a new place, uh, something different, 
I think that's what you need a lot of the time is a bit of contrast. So something new, something different to spice it up and make it special again. Another great part about this hotel is they've got a pool, spa, sauna, steam room. And right now I'm relaxing by the pool before I head off for my flight this afternoon. So after all that, I finally got back to Australia. Uh, we sorted everything out. I did the training. Uh, I didn't end up doing the marathon, unfortunately. $190 to enter it. Actually, with taxes, it was over $200 to enter the marathon. I don't have that sort of money right now. So yeah, I wasn't able to do the marathon. Instead, I went out for a couple of drinks on Saturday night. Whoops. Um, and just enjoyed the flight back home. And now back in Australia, things still aren't really settling down, but hey, that's life. Thanks for watching. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia and sometimes New Zealand, then hit that like subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.